Oh. So we managed to get the guard corpse sent over to the research division. I fear we blew stuff up with the explosives there, which explains why we didn't get a lot out of it, but... Oh yeah, everyone died. Still, back we go. Job well done. And thanks to that, South Africa is probably going to pay a slightly less reduced amount. Oh. Uh, also, I'm going to build up a new base. I think I don't trust my lack of coverage over in the east. Where are we going to go, though? I don't want too much overlap with you. Can we do Japan? Can we do Ryukyu? No, it's not here. Could do Korea. It's a bit too far north. Manila, I always think of as a good place. Yeah, I guess we'll stead ourselves over by Manila. Does Manila have two L's? M-A-N-I-L. It really one L in Manila? That doesn't seem right. Google, confirm. Manila. Yeah, just one one L. Just doesn't seem right, but there you go. Okay. So, four people is a little painful, since that's more than everything we lost in all the other ones, but that's just how it goes in Xenonauts. Sometimes you're going to have total party wipes. What you need to do is be able to bounce back. You're thinking vanilla. Uh, I frequently do. Right, how are things going? We got our we got our big boy toys yet? We got one of them. It's a shame that it's finished so late in the... Actually, that's a good point. Um, I don't want you done in two days. I want you done... I hate the fact that there's even this level of micro in the game, but I want you done in... 6 days, 21 hours. That way it'll be ready in October, which means I don't need to pay maintenance on it yet. And that's pretty big. Can you rename bases? Oh, you can. Cool. But we're not going to. We're keeping Kingston. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to wipe entire cities just how it goes. Mm -hmm. Save and save often, just makes me feel better. But there'll be no saves coming. If we completely lose, we're going right back to the start. Easy does it now. I'm sure they'll be back. Sadly, even once you set up the base, you've got to put down the satellite dishes to actually know what's out there. Also, incredibly painful losses there. So really, we're going to get about $2 million, which is going to be hangar, hangar, and uh, radar thing. Hangar, hangar, radar thing. Condor, 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 condor. And another um, foxtrot. Okay, so we finally know about the little grey men. Physically weaker, less hardy than humans. Love to beat one up in a fight then. Then again, those mice, massive brains of theirs might prove difficult. Still, let's throw what we can behind our alien biology. Commence research. Uh, I don't even want this scout car, so have one poor overworked scientist work on that. And have the rest look at alien biology. The big question, can it be done in fewer than three Earths, says Baron. Mmm... I'll pass on that. Could always rename bases after hero troopers from that base, posthumously of course. No, then I'll get confused about their locations. Our people are plenty immortalized on the casualty list. There we go. Yeah. Four of them are privates, which is fine. Losing a corporal stings a little bit, but come on. Corporal go... Corporal's just one little bit above private. It's all about the sergeants and beyond. I'm impressed with Mucus, though. Mucus being able to get back up. Mucus is, was, and always will be assault. There we go. How hard can their skeletons be? Genetic tampering notwithstanding. They live in microgravity. And that's why we can break them. But what about the lizard people? Maybe they grew up on somewhere that was uh, more hostile to the bones. Alright, good. You won't be ready until October. All 
right? Wow, there's a whole lot of not much happening here. But at least that gives my poor people a chance to piece themselves back together. Mucus is a long way to recovery, and I'm not building infirmaries for my people. They don't deserve it. Squeaky Fang took quite the beating out there as well. Did they get any medals for it? Stacy got a medal. Stacy should have gotten every medal for that one. Otherwise... Mm, nah, we're, we're a bit shy on handing out the old medals here, it seems. Which is a shame, because medals get bravery. Right. Intercept that one. Send out both the condors on the double. Let's make sure the Middle East are paying us everything we're owed. Oh, that's good. Tail them over land. Destroy them. Return to base. Uh, night time is coming, but I reckon we have the time to go out and get that. So, we need to assemble a new crack team to take this one on. Sadly, though, I have nobody available for assault. I'm very sad about that, because I love having assault on the team. Uh, Sergeant Don Jero, you're amazing. But I've already got two heavy weapons. What if we had three heavy weapons? Two shields. We'll take uh, Worm and... Cylinder. Nah, take Alsvith. Stacy, you deserve a rest here. Nikki, you're going back in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take a sniper. We'll take freaking bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think we'll take a rocketeer. And it's going to be Sergeant Dude. As ever, make sure that they are properly lined up with shields in the front. Why even give us this? Just give us their emblem on this when we're moving around so we don't need to mouse over them. Things like that that make me go, God, this game is great, but please, some more polish. Precision rifle, ballistic rifle, machina, machina. I've got a lot of machine guns. I'd rather have a precision rifle ready to pop out straight from the front. Alright, seems good. Set a course. Oh god, no, not airstrike. Intercept. Off you go, Charlie. We're racing against the night time here, but the Middle East are going to pay us more money. 10% more money for having shot this thing down. No infirmary, the plate. Yeah. No clinic. Our iron in the warehouse is going to get sick. Thanks, Augustus. Of course this... no? Wait. Yeah, it does have edge panning. I tried to disable that in every game that will let me disable it. Okay, what are we looking at here? We're at the edge of the map, which is kind of... Con we <laughs> How's that tree even there? Um, Squeaky Fan, what's out there? Well, there's no aliens out there, which is a good start. This is not amazing cover for you. Anyone over here can just shoot you, and aliens have terrific sight. So, uh, if anywhere, I'd rather you were, say, here, so you can react to stuff. Maybe even keep all of your eyes over there, I, I don't trust it. Um, right, well, let's start figuring out what's going on down here. Send in the shields. Just a quick check behind me, just in case. Hmm, fat lot of nothing going on down there. What the heck are all the aliens? Wishing I had stun things, because I could stun these civilians so they don't die. People seem to not like it when I let civilians die. For some reason. Someone is going to have to run across all this and spot for us, and it's probably going to be Worm. Alright, seems a bit cut and dry, although I could be dead wrong about how we're approaching this. Yeah, you could always run up, get us a bit closer to the enemy, especially if you do it from here, where there's something resembling cover. Good lord, where are they all? Don't make me feel like a fool for bringing all this gun with me.
Okay. Well, how about that? Yeah, hide between the propane bottles. That'll help you. <laughs> Fool. Okay. Interesting. A whole lot of nothing happening. Uh, well, Nikki, I know you said you'd unsub if I got you killed, but needs must. The many and the few and all that. Where the heck is all the everything? By the way, what level of cover is this? Not great. Alright, Worm, you're also heading out there. People's champion. Um, yeah, I agree. There isn't a lot of great options here. How about uh, how about you, Alsvith? You come a little closer on this side just to figure out if anything's down here, please. Turned a bit more than I wanted you to, but that's okay. Where the heck is everything? I'm not going to move these guys. They've got good range and they are where they should be. Except for you, maybe. The dangerous chance of all this blowing up is something I'm not a fan of. I might just blow this up in uh, any way. Just to allow better sight lines for us. Although I might want you to blow that stuff up as well. Tricky choices. Actually, if anybody should be going forward, it, it's it's you. So on you go. Because I might want you to blow up this wall. The many and the few. That's not where you should run. I'm going to blow that wall up, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Knickers. Well, at least we know where the alien ship is, but... Hmm. Damn, Worm doesn't quite have the sheer force of will to make it all the way over there. I'm going to have him here, and then potentially pop his nose back when... Oh god, no aliens here either. Still though, it comes back a bit. God, it's, it's more scary when nothing's happening. Right, well, crossing the road. Sounds like the setup for a joke. Why did the elite unit of Xenonauts cross the road? Could be the mythical dead on landing. The thing is, we haven't even noticed any hidden movement or or sorts. Right, down you get, everybody. Does it use the same model for all of the uh, all of the units? I think I think it does. Yeah, either that or Nikki's bleached his hands. Right, I still think the dude should be giving us a bit more of an entry opportunity by blowing up this wall. Thirty percent chance of blockage, but I would like to see inside there. No, stop! Stop! What are you doing? All right, tell you what. If you can get in here at least and give us an eye on what's happening there. Actually, nothing here, right? No. Does that thing at least open and close itself? That sounds like action, and it wasn't action in front of the ship. I think it was behind it. And there's only one person behind the ship. His name is Nicky. Maybe we should give Nicky some uh, ordnance help. From the dude, Sergeant the Dude 456. Have 
having you guys here alone isn't a good idea because you've got even if something pops out, you've got nothing to f shoot them with. All right, we can take cover behind this big bus at least. Hopefully, buses don't explode. Don't like you standing there. You could easily get shot from there. So, who was that? Mord Calv with his pathetic TUs, although they are getting slightly less pathetic each passing day. And Squeaky, miraculous survivor from one of our previous missions. Don't worry, I'm sure they won't shoot these propane tanks. Knickers, you just keep yourself there. Worm, I don't know what to make of this either. Right, when in doubt, let's bring the uh, let's bring them out of hiding, shall we? Where are you hiding? Force them out, smoke them out, if you will. Oh wait, Christ! No, 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 no! You're not what I want. You, I don't want my sniper up close. I thought you had a uh, heavy weapon. Oh, well, you might be fine there, regardless. Classic mistake. I really, really don't like Nicky being where he is. It's quite dangerous when all he has is this capsized log for protection against laser weapons. I have him up here and looking down the way. Not sure if that's going to offer him much, much better anything, but still. There he goes. Yeah, ready another rocket. Never know when we need it. That door isn't opening and closing itself, which does make me a little bit anxious. I mean, why wouldn't it be? You, Borum, take that position. Oh, hello! What's the red shirt mean? It means Bass is, uh... Bass is eating good tonight. Ah, oh, crap, you're out of range from there. Right, but Mordcab might be able to spot. Mordcab cannot spot. This isn't a good hit chance, but it is a hit chance. Excellent shot. Just a lot of ways that it could have been better. What are the odds that we kill ourselves with this? I'd reckon it's pretty high. Yeah! Doesn't matter that we suppressed Borum, we suppressed the red shirt. I would rather you took a step back from their moored calves so you're not such an obvious target. Bass, you're also untargeting yourself by crouching down here. Nikki, you just keep your eye on that. As much as I would like the dude to blow up the wall, it would make you a target. Even though this guy is suppressed, it does tempt me. Especially since I could blow up this part of the wall and have Nickers just uh, weigh in on the matter. Oh, but you've already reloaded, so that's a no-go. Fancy another shot like that? 57% blocked by friendly. It's not good. Um, and you're oppressed. Mordkalb? I know it's partially blocked, but imagine if it wasn't. Yeah! Oh, I should have blown it up with you first, shouldn't I? That was a mistake. Mm. 
feel like it's pretty early to be facing red shirt, but what do I know? Yeah, screw it. We need action! Keep him suppressed. While we're at it, I feel like we should just keep ourselves safe here. Even as we are, the situation is a little dangerous. I'm even going to move Alsvith over to provide cover for Mord. And Doc Spangler just creep a little bit closer. I don't like the idea of shooting Worm in the back. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Good, I haven't lost sight of you. That means still a massive chance of shooting Worm. That's not that massive, though. Okay, that's good. Bring it home, Mord. Well, suppression is still good. There we go. The one and done! That was very close to the mythical all aliens dead on landing. But there we go. It's still a new thing to be researched, and it's still a hefty amount of goodies, because even though we just killed one alien, there were a lot of dead aliens inside the craft. So that, for me, was very fortunate. Also, they didn't even kill a civvy. What was the shooting we heard earlier? God knows, but that was extremely fortunate, if a little uh, lacking in action. Yeah, it took eight very heavily armed Xenonaut guys to take down one cowering red shirt, but they got it done. Yeah, I knew they could do it. All right, carry on. South America is getting ravaged right now. There we go, finally know how to make better armor, and I think we should be making some of that jackal armor. It's not that expensive, and we don't need any fancy materials for it, so please put together... Oh, I'm out of money, haven't I? No, it's just that I didn't notice I was incrementing that. We'll make four to begin with. It'll take a while, but at least there's no upkeep on armor. Yeah, coming up for the end of the month. How's Manila looking? Manila will be done in four days. Kingston will be done in one. And our... Fox shot will be ready tomorrow, which is good. Probably exaggerated their contributions when they got home. <laughs> I didn't check to see how we leveled up on that one. Doesn't matter, though. Brave job, everybody. Random Arab civilians probably killed more aliens than the Zen and Nelson. <laughs> Easy now. As long as we're making our paycheck here. Hold on, the predicted change on South America is minus $129. The BRs have been ravaged by the aliens, and there's nothing I could do about it because it's away from my base. And that's annoying because if they drop out of the Xenonauts program, there's no way to drag them back in, no matter how much I protect BR in the future. Everyone's a sergeant now. No, Mucus is still a private, despite having almost died previously. Aside from that, everybody else is looking quite good. I'm proud to see it, lads. Mm -hmm. And you're almost done. There we go. So, uh, we appear to have lost a lot of money, especially from South America. But everybody's still in, and they're still paying us. We just made 1.5 million, and we are going to be sinking that 1.5 million into building up our bases something fierce. Um, because the radar array costs a quarter million, so that's half a million to build two of those. Fortunately, the hangars are quite cheap, but the condors and the foxtrots are not. If I wanted to buy myself a new plane, condor costs 100,000 and costs 100,000 in upkeep. That's nay good. I might put an order for them in nice and early so they're ready to come, but that's a problem for future Jake. We're going to make our save here and call it for today. I will be running this one regularly until we're done with it. Uh, I don't think I'll give up either. 
The only thing I'm ever willing to restart on is the final mission. Everything else, if we lose completely, we're going right back to square one. But I'd love to finish this one on, ex uh, on insane mode. And of course, I need to pick through the list of people who signed up, organize it, and bring people in as and when they're needed. We'll probably play this one month at a time, unless we have some very slow months, or no need for lots of recruits, because every month, I believe this list refreshes, and that means it'll clear any custom units that I put in. So, that's how we'll plan it going forward, and I'll be back with more of this at an unknown date, because I really need to sort out what my schedule is. Still, until then, so cheers, and a cheerio.